having looked at the curriculum, which is the content to teach, the next logical step would be, all right, how do I teach it? How should teaching happen? No, regardless of the subject or, or the grade level at which you're teaching, it is important to focus on, this is what I have to teach, now how do I teach it? The how is as important as the what of teaching. So, let's take a look. Islam does not confine itself to a particular method of teaching. Rather, it encourages any method through which the students are able to understand the subject matter. So Islam is not dogmatic. It not says teach this way, and this is the only way to teach. Islam says teach in a way that helps the student learn, whatever that method may be. Okay? So you're not limited. You have to explore, you have to find out, you have to do trial and error. Some methods will work better, some won't. But the question is, why would you give up? If a method that you tried didn't work, it's, it has to be for a reason. What went wrong? Were you prepared? Were your materials adequate? Was the lesson planned at the level of the students? Were the students involved? Was it interesting? And so on and so forth. So you need to reflect. You need to see how a lesson can be taught. Now, in our classrooms, we may have 20, 30, 40, sometimes even 80 students. Okay? And these students are not all the same. So one size fits all is not going to work, and Islam does not propagate that. It says to use methods with students that students learn from. It is up to the teacher, it is up to us to see what methods work, when I should use a particular method, and when I should not use a particular method. So a teacher needs to be equipped with teaching method skills, strategies, practices, methodologies that will help the teacher select an appropriate strategy to use in a particular classroom with a particular grade level at a particular time in the school year. According to Islamic philosophy, any method may be adopted according to the need of the topical lesson. Now, common sense would tell us the way you teach English is not the way you would teach math, is not the way you would teach science, and therefore certain approaches and method would be better suited for certain subject areas and others would be suited for other subject areas. Let's just take an example of a science lesson. Topics repeat. So you may have Newton's laws of motion in class 5 science, in class 8 science, in 10th metric, and you will have them again in FSC. The topic is the same. It is science. It is Newton's laws of motion. Will the teacher teach the 5th grade, the 8th grade, the 10th grade, and the 11th grade the same way? Hopefully not. The, even though the topic is the same, the grade levels are different, the rigor, the depth, the emphasis of the topic changes. And what you expect students to do should also change. A fifth grader in an eighth, as an eighth grader is much more mature. That eighth grader in metric is now even more mature. And so you can expect more from the child. And so the teaching method should challenge the student. If the student is challenged by the approach the teacher uses to teach a particular topic, the lesson automatically becomes interesting. When we teach, we somehow do one of two things. Either we make it too simple because we kind of feel sorry for the child, or we have higher expectations and we make it a little more complicated. In either case, the student is lost. In the first case, the stuff is too easy for him and he will lose interest. In the second case, it is too difficult for him and he will lose interest. So, you need to teach keeping the student's optimal zone of learning in mind and what will make it interesting for the student. For example, 
there are problem solving, there is debate, there is research, there are experiments, there are demonstrations, lectures, practical work, group work, individual work. There are lots and lots of approaches that a teacher should have in his or her bank of teaching methods. And the teacher should use those teaching methods every so often so that all students in his classroom can be reached most of the time.